All right, and as I mentioned, if you're like, ah, do that or something close to that, uh, you're welcome to try. Uh, Tuesdays, try out at six for the Little Alaska Laugh thing. So, uh, next week, coming to stage, uh, feature this evening. Uh, if there was a purple heart that could be awarded uh, to someone for stand-up comedy, trust me on this one, uh, he'd get it up for bravery. Ladies and gentlemen, the men, the myth, and the legend that is Kyle Farrell. Make some goddamn noise, everybody. <laughs> and you forgot his name. It's fine. <laughs> happens a lot. It's good. So what are you guys? Give yourselves a big round. That's pretty cool. I almost didn't even come because Daredevil came out on Netflix and I was glued to the couch for like three hours. So pretty important show in my life. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's badass. Sweet hallway fights. Uh, <laughs> if there wasn't so many fun things to do at Coots, I would be home right now. Just geeking out. Uh, I didn't have like a moment where I just kind of lost my lost my shit the other day, and it was uh, it was that guy talking over there. Just needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I kind of lost it. I bought a. Uh, it's the time of year for Girl Scout cookies, and I bought some Girl Scout cookies. I bought Samoas because they're my they're my favorite. <laughs> Ginger girl, like what? <laughs> Keep my Samoan Samoan. Like, don't fuck with the. No fuck with it. Do they change the flavor? Do they taste like Fireball whiskey now? <laughs> I was outraged. I want Samoans on that box. I want the Rock back to back with another Samoan superstar. Pick your own. There's a ton of them. Yeah. Like I wasn't that mad when they came out with Black Annie. But, you know, it was a minor event in my life. I was like, oh, they remade Annie, and it's, you know, it's a black girl. Like, that doesn't, that's not going to sell me a ticket. Like, I don't care if they changed the race. I just don't think they changed it enough. I want to see, I want to see Vietnamese Annie. You want, to buy, you want me to buy a ticket, make Vietnamese Annie, it'll affect the story. Daddy Warbucks, or if you call him now, rolls into the cell phone factory that he owns, and he's like, who's that adorable little girl working on processors? Oh, her name's Annie? Oh, bring her over here. And quick, before she jumps out the building, because that happens here. <laughs> you know, and you can open the movie up with like a cool, like, musical number where you pan into the sweatshop and it's like all these eight-year-olds in like clean room suits. So it looks like Oopa Loopa's quit the chocolate factory and they work for Pentium now. They do like a martial arts dance fighting shit. It was awesome, right? I'm so in. I'm so in on this movie. And you have that moment at the end when Annie realizes that she's made it. And you know, and his daddy Warbucks would be like, no, Annie, Annie, no, Annie, come up here. No, sit here. Annie, no, today the rickshaw pulls you. <laughs> Daddy Warbucks. And I'm not doing an impression, but hard knock life in a very stereotypical Asian accent. Do it in your car. Don't do it in public. If you need a smile, I'm not saying it's right or you should, but it's kind of fun. Uh, and I know that joke is full of ignorance. I realize it's full of ignorance. Because they don't make cell phones in Vietnam. <laughs> but they also don't pull rickshaws in Korea. So the truth had to take a backseat, much like Annie at the end of that movie I just made up. <laughs> if you guys want to clap, it's a weird thing to clap at, but I appreciate the shit out of it. <laughs> I guess I'm dating again, that's fine. I don't know. I'm, very, I'm pretty indifferent. I like going on dates. I just like first dates though, because you can be like a little creative, you know, show out your personality outside of a dark bar. I like to, you know, I like to pick the girl up at her house and she's like, oh, where are we going to dinner? Uh, we're gonna eat, but that's like, that's like not what we're doing. <laughs> like, I bought some duct tape. Watch your eyes get big. <laughs> like, no, 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 like I bought some duct tape and we're gonna drive around your neighborhood and we're gonna pick up all the stray cats. <laughs> And then we're gonna strap them to our bodies in like strategic areas, like laser tag. It's kind of like laser tag. And um, the idea is you gotta get all the cats off the other person's body, but you can't use your hands. <laughs> what? What is that? What are you talking about? What? You grow up in a cave? You never played kick me in the pussy? Oh, it's the best. 
is, uh, I started with the punchline on that one, and I worked backwards, because I want to be the Sir Arthur Conan Doyle of dick jokes one day. <laughs> it's a dream I have. Uh, I've been dating this girl for a little while, uh, she's pretty cool. Uh, we met at a bar, because we like to drink, and that tends to bring people together. And, uh, one night, uh, we hit it pretty hard, we went out just, we're going drinking. And, uh, she hit it harder than me, because I was able to use my imagination to pretend I wasn't drunk driving home later. <laughs> we all like our imaginations, you know? When all the lights work, it works out fine. Uh, but then we got back to, uh, her house, and, uh, we did the deed. And then I went to work in the morning, and I texted her, I was like, hey, how about last night? And she texted me back, I don't remember last night. <laughs> Did I just date rape my girlfriend? Is that something you do when you get close to your 30s? It's awesome. It's a great feeling inside. It was bothering me all day. Like, it was just bugging me. I didn't want to have this weird text conversation about a person that I might have uh, sexually assaulted on uh, accident with consent. Exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of asterisks. It's like being, it's Mark, McGra or Mark McGuire in the Hall of Fame. It's a lot of asterisks next to that name. But, uh... Yeah, so I asked her finally, like face to face. I looked at her, I was like, hey, like, do you really not remember last night? And she looked at me with those sweet eyes. She just went, ah. I don't like to use the word retarded. I prefer the term mentally handicapped. I also don't like to say that about the girl I'm dating. I just like to tell people she has a couple extra chromosomes kicking around, doing chromosome shit, like shooting dice. Whatever chromosomes do, when there's too many of them, that's what she's got going on. And I can see it in some of your faces. You're fucking, don't you fucking judge her. Don't you judge her. She's amazing. She has the most beautiful almond shaped eyes. They're a little close together for some people. But I think she looks like an angel. She gave me a hand job at the movies once. I didn't have to cut a hole in the popcorn or nothing. She just buried her fist down like the Incredible Hulk right through the bottom of the tub. She's really strong. Ripped my penis off. Not your traditional hand job, right? It's already a pretty good story. Ripped my penis, threw it across a the dark theater. And it just, this guy's trying to watch the Maze Runner and it just. <laughs> Did they get out of the maze? Like he got amnesia. He got amnesia like an episode of the Honeymooners. Was like, and when I saw the blood on her hands, I knew what I had on mine, and that's a keeper. 